Dang it, man. Look at those imprints from the trampoline. It's right, they're not that bad. Like the other day I got my divot tool, you know, when we play golf, and propped them up and it seemed to work pretty well. Or you could use a pitchfork. Why am I puffed from putting that away? I suppose I did run in there. <laughs> anyway, today we're gonna to be doing some fertilizing. Um, this weather's getting nasty, man, it's getting cold. So, last granular furt of the app. Look at this dude. Last granular furt of the year for me. What am I saying? Anyway, let's get into it. Yo, mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so I don't know how easy it is to tell on camera, but this lawn is hungry. Like, it's looking for a feed. Um, it's got a bit of a yellow cast across it. Leaf blades looking a little bit thin, not as thick and lush as they normally look. So, that's why it's due for a granular furt. Now, I am probably like four weeks overdue for my application, so that's why it's like this. Um, so that's why we're doing it today. Now, the reason it's the last one for the season is because coming into winter, you can't do granular fertilizer apps on your lawn because it won't break down properly in the soil. Which means that the season is winding down, which is a bummer. Really bummed about it. Um, so glad this lawn is back though, um, from when it was damaged, when I put the bore in and let the lawn go absolutely dry. But yeah, let's enjoy this last fertilizer on this lawn today. Um, I'm using that good old Noculae Complete that I've used many times before um, and the reason I like it is because it's a complete all year round fertiliser basically so it's got a good N, P and K in it. Um, this time of year it's great to get some potassium down which is your K um, because it's going to help build up your root system for winter so that's why I want to get this final app down because it's really going to help build up that root system which is what we want leading into winter. It probably won't take up all the nutrients from this fertiliser today because I've left it a little bit late um, but since it is cool season grass, we've still got that tiny little bit of a window. But yeah, whatever's left over, some of it will actually help it kick out in the springtime as well. So if you guys are looking to do your last granular fert app, look for something that has some higher cane in it, um, which is your potassium. Because again, as I said, it's going to feed your roots. You don't want something with too much nitrogen because this time of year your lawn is either going to get disease from pushing too much N, like my tip tufted out the front when I was pushing too much nitrogen on that really late in the season. Um, so yeah, make sure you get something with high K in it because it's really gonna make a difference. Now you can do this through granular fertilizer or you can actually feed it over winter with the liquid fertilizer as well. You guys might have heard me say this in recent videos but I'm gonna be using this Vertec Phosphiter over winter because it's got that potassium and that phosphorus in there as well and basically no nitrogen. So it's gonna be great for that. It's got some amino acids as well. Yeah, anyway, um, so liquid fertilizers are great to use over the cooler months if your lawn is still green and growing a little bit. If it's gone dormant, like completely dormant brown, no point in putting anything in at all. You could put out some kelp or something, but to be honest, I'd back it off, take a rest, and wait till springtime. But yeah, if you are in Queensland, WA, or somewhere like my climate that still has cool season grass growing, you can flip over to a liquid fertilizer program. So. For me personally, not gonna put any nitrogen out. Just gonna go with some P and K through this product just here. But I won't be applying that for another couple of weeks anyway. Um, and as you guys know, my potassium and my phosphorus are a bit low in my soil, so not a bad idea to push this through for the winter and help the lawn get a little bit nice and lush, or well, as lush as it can be with frost around. Right, so Hoselink has sent me a couple of um, liquid products to try out on my gardens. So I'm gonna do them with the camellias. Um, and maybe on the other plants as well, we'll see what happens. But um, I'm going to be applying it today through this. It's basically a Hortex sprayer, hose links version. Um, I did this a couple of weeks ago um, with this stuff. So yeah, it works pretty well. But I tell you what, man, it stinks like, you know how like CSO and stuff stinks? This stuff. <laughs> Every, I wish that was a fake gag, but it wasn't. Every time that I sniff this stuff, man, it's like it smells like rotten eggs. Which normally means, oh, I can taste it now. The stanky stuff is always the good stuff. That stuff's not as bad, it's more fishy. That's like eggy. It's still bad though. It's probably not good for me doing that. <clears throat> you know, I talk about the, that Fertig bio smell like bum. This stuff is like the biggest bum smell I've ever smelled in a fertilizer. Anyway, let's tip it in. Let's fertilize the plant for once. It's been so long since I had time. Yeah, this stinks. Anyway, 
it works well. A couple of flowers coming up on these actual plants since I last applied it. I don't think that's what's made the flowers come up, but they're nice and healthy anyway. Look at this. I only planted these not long ago and we've got some flowers. Probably shouldn't touch that because it stinks. Yeah, no. Nah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to keep trying that out, using it, um, and easy to apply with that Hortex spray. And now, as I've told you guys, not a fan of using that in the lawn, but for my plants, love it. Put this out today, 2 kilos per 100 square metres is the rate, and we need to water it in afterwards, um, so never put it down on dewy or wet grass, otherwise it will burn, because um, the prills will just pop open and start, you know, working, so that's when it burns. Um, I've seen some bad green um, burn on golf greens before with this stuff, when it's been put on dewy grass. Mm-mm, not fun. It does come back, but yeah, it's nasty. Anyway, so put it out today, water in afterwards, about six mil of water, um, six mil of irrigation, so that'll be about, it's about 20 minutes with my sprinklers, so it's not too long. Um, and then we're gonna get some growth, boy. So let's do it. I don't wanna see me shaking. Oh no, like I'm sudden but I'm steady. Oh no, and they tell me to move on, cause I deserve more, but still. All right, so that worked out pretty well. Basically, nothing left in there. What a magician. All right, so since that is all done, I'm gonna water it in right now. Now, since the grass isn't wet, I could take a leave till tonight, but I'm just gonna do it now, just because I can. Um, and I've got some boar water, so I'm allowed to. Um, but yeah, boar's working really well, I'll tell you what. Um, but let's just chuck it on now and let it water in. Better move it out of the way before I get hit. Um, but yeah, the boar is working so well, like seriously. I mean, I haven't had to run it too much lately because we've had really good rain, um, but mate, it's awesome. And the whole back station is running off that pump. That's how much pressure's in that pump and how much flow we've got. Cause we got a thousand gallons an hour running out this. So that's around about, how many liters a minute is it? Oh, crap, I can't remember. Anyway, it's running quick. It's running really, really well. Tell you what, I'm so keen for that fertilizer to kick in. Bit of extra growth to last for the season. I'll be able to get some more mowing in. The stripes will pop a little bit better because the lawn will be a bit healthier. And I'll start adding that potassium and phosphorus with that phosphider as well, which I'm keen for. But let me just show you guys how the green's looking. Um, and then I'll show you a quick update in the morning as well, because every day it's just going crazy. But look at this. Look how long that rye is. It's going nuts. It looks so, so good. Um, and up here, look awesome. I've left this growth mat on for the last two days. Heat mat, sorry. So let's just pull it up and have a squeeze it how it looks. I know a lot of people get stressed out about walking on baby seeds. Not too bad if you're not constantly walking over them. So look, do what I want me. <laughs> let's just pull it up and have a squeeze at how it's looking. So, oh yeah, nice. Got some good growth. So I'm not gonna pull it off completely because I just want to keep the heat in there. Um, but we've got a lot of germination. With the tiff tough coming back as you can see that's some of the darker green stuff but mate it's looking awesome so i gotta give it a quick water now because remember when you're getting seed up you gotta keep it moist all the time don't flood it just keep it nice and moist so from a distance it looks like there's heaps of bare patches but there is germination everywhere in there if you can see this spot just here there's tiny tiny little grass seeds there hope you guys can see that on camera but mate it's looking good it is a little bit slower than it normally would be because we're getting night temps around zero degrees sometimes so you know it's not as good as it could be but it is feeding off that inoculate complete that i put down on this when i did a little renovation on it so it's going well you can tell where the heat is though like the rye is just kicking through like crazy especially in this front area here you can like see the square from where the heat mat was but really impressed with that i'll show you guys an update tomorrow morning though so see you guys in a second all right we're back out here next day definitely grown it's funny how much it grows from day to day you have a look at this thick boy it's getting so thick someone has gone through there with their scooter or their bike or something good on you guys um, but it's looking awesome so let's just pull this heat mat back a little bit and just have a bit of a squeeze underneath oh yeah oh 
yeah definitely getting more growth by the day that looks awesome all right that's about it thanks guys so much for watching i'll show you guys an update on this next week obviously i'll tell you what it's going to be growing day by day so i'm excited to see where it goes but yeah this should start growing this lawn should really start growing too now that we've fertilized it it's already greened up a little bit of a tinge today as you can see it's looking healthier right i'll see you guys next wednesday